Welcome back to LearnPianoLive.com. My name is Jamin, and as you can tell from the countdown clock, the lesson is about to get started. In case you're new with us, there's a few things I'd like to show you to help you throughout the lesson. These lessons are always guided and shaped by your questions, and if you're live with us today, there's a couple different ways you can do that. One is in the public live chat, and the other is the Ask Jamin a Question button, where you can ask me a question privately, and I won't share your identity in case you're afraid that your question is stupid but it's not. If you're in the archives though, then just open up the survey at the end of that. There's a place where you can ask your question. I will say I frequently get questions from students in the archives watching a lesson from six months ago, and I have no idea what they're talking about. So please try to be as specific as possible. 
If you're watching this at LearnPianoLive.com, there should be a PDF and an MP3 button right next to this video. The PDF will often have additional video links inside so you can get more in-depth instruction on each of the topics. And if you're the kind of person who likes to print out the PDF so you can make the same notes on your physical version as I'm making during the lesson, now would be the time to do that. The MP3 is just a play along track so you can practice more after the lesson. In traditional lessons, a teacher is going to actually present some new concept for maybe five or ten minutes every couple weeks. The rest of the time is going to be spent applying and refining those concepts. Well, here I'm spouting off hours of new information every week, so it's totally unreasonable to expect you to actually absorb all of that. Instead, the goal of these live lessons is for you to find some little nugget of something that makes sense but it is a bit of a challenge and for you to go practice it because practice is where all the improvement's gonna happen. So don't feel bad if you have to leave the live lesson and you find that little thing that you're gonna practice. And of course, if I'm going too fast, you can always rewind the live lessons or replay in the archives as much as you want. If these live lessons start feeling random or meandering, it's because they are on purpose. So if you're the kind of person who wants classical training with a step-by-step -step method, then you're going to want to check out Koppel Academy on the website. It's included in your live lesson subscription, so you can do both or either. And the upper levels are seriously hard work, but it's going to take you all the way from ground zero all the way up to being ready to enter any major music college as a piano major in classical or jazz. And finally, it's most people's favorite. This is application where we take the past concepts from other live lessons and we see how they apply to an actual real song that already exists. And since there's like a thousand different ways to play any song, you're just going to work on the version that is appropriate for your level. So that might just mean playing one minute at a time for right now. Or maybe you're working on chords or covering the full song. Or maybe you're just seeing how the song breaks down so you can better write and transcribe your own songs in the future. But whatever your level is, the goal is not this song. So even if you don't play the whole entire song, you'll get better by even attempting a little bit of it and attempt it we shall. I'm afraid the last part was a little bit too close, but we'll see. Last time we did a Beatles song, we got struck. Uh, so hopefully that was different enough that uh, you know what song it is, but the algorithms don't. Either way, we're going to teach you all the notes for that song, uh, either that way or the right way. Uh, but first, let's introduce the incomparable Kendra. Guess what, Jamin? My song just hit a million streams on Spotify, and I'm very excited and kind of wow. mind-blown because 
I never thought that would happen. That's pretty awesome. So, a million listens on to Dirty. Which which Dirty Hands is it? Uh, Gone Mad. Go, is that wait? What huh? Looking? What? That's what? the that's the version of it. Dirty Hands Gone Mad. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Cool. Sorry, it's I didn't confusing. get the song There's title wrong. There's two different versions, but only one is on okay. Spotify. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, cool. So go check out Dirty Hands Gone Mad, just like everyone else uh, practically in the universe has already. And s- no. Make it a million and one streams. Way to go, Kendra. That's Thank really cool. You. You're I'm awesome. Excited. You're awesome. Ah, oh, shucks. You're awesome. <laughs> You're awesome. Ah, oh, cool. Blackbird's awesome. Let's try this yeah. thing. We're gonna start on a G in order to find a G. Um, for right now, you can ignore all the letters that are on top here. Um, and if you're in the archives, then uh, you already have all of the uh, letters written in here. So I'm just going to show you what all these uh, notes are. If this looks terribly intimidating, then pay no attention to all the stuff that's happening up here and just pay attention to the stuff that's happening down here with my hands because um, I'll just show you where to, to play all these notes. So we're going to start on a G. We're going to play a whole bunch of them in a row. I would highly recommend that you say the words out loud as you go. So um, even without knowing any of the notes, you can still see that uh, Blackbird singing in the dead, these all happen on the exact same line. So Blackbird singing in the dead, those are all Gs, just like that. So because they're all on the same line. And then you can see that um, even though you might not know what letter it is, you got to jump way up there. So even if you don't know the letters, you can't read the, the sheet music yet, that's fine. You can jump into Clopple Academy, actually, and that would help. Uh, level one is free to everybody. Uh, and level two, uh, you get a little bit deeper into the um, reading sheet music thing. But um, anyway, even without knowing any of that stuff, you can still just kind of follow the shape of the dots and know where you're supposed to go, whether you're supposed to go up, whether you're supposed to go down. And then I'll show you what all the letters are. So Blackbird Singing in the Dead is all G. And then we're going to go up to this note, which happens to be called a D. So the first note is a G. It's in a group of three black notes. It's right below the middle note in a group of three. And then the D that we want, uh, one of the biggest jumps in the song, is going to be in the middle of a group of two black notes. So that one up to that one, there should be three notes in the middle. They would be A, B, and C in the middle. So we've got Blackbird singing in the dead of night just like that and practice that up until you can say it or sing it preferably um, along with your playing blackbirds singing in the dead of night and then we've got a bunch of a's here take these broken wings so this note right above the g is an a we're gonna play three of those take these broke and then we're gonna go to the left and come right back wings now here's the one thing you do need to know and i think this is the only thing you absolutely have to know when you're reading sheet music um is that these swoopy lines uh that connect these notes um these are called ties and so anytime you see one of these swoopy lines right there uh then you're going to need to make sure you just play one of those notes so it looks like there's two but that swoopy line ties those two together as one big note so that's actually only one a there even though it looks like there's two so we would play take these broken wings and learn to fly so all together we have blackbird singing in the dead of night then back down to the a's take these broken wings and learn to fly just work on that feel free to if you're in the archives uh pause the video and uh, just work on whatever section you need to um if you're live with me just get all the notes that you can but uh once i start losing you that's fine i'm gonna come back around to the top again uh and play it in just a couple minutes so when i lose you just keep on practicing the, on the section that you need you can always come back to the video later and uh, pick up the rest of the notes uh, all your life is going to be an a and a b and a g so all your life and then we're actually like almost done with the song, believe it or not. We got a bunch of G's. We got to go up and then come back down. You were own. There's three G's in a row. We're going to go up and up and then back down. So you were only waiting for. We're going to jump down for this. And then we're going to have these three notes. But first, we're going to have these two notes. So we're going to play two notes and we're going to play three notes. So two and then three and that's moment to arise okay that's a whole lot of notes so if that's all you practice this week that might be your entire assignment is just getting down that first chunk the first a section of this song just to, to memorize those notes and be able to say out loud those notes let's try them again blackbird singing in the dead of night go down to an a for the next phrase take these broken wings and learn to fly 
and then three notes all your life. We're gonna move up three and then come back down. You were only waiting for, jump down, this, and then we got a set of two and then a set of three. Moment to arise. Okay, so good news is that whole section is that whole section. So it's the exact same thing. Blackbird singing the dead of night, take these sunken eyes and learn to see all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to be free. Different words, same exact notes, same exact order, same exact rhythm, the same exact everything. Um, so if you weren't singing along with it, it would just be literally the exact same thing. Now, uh, uh, all your life, you were with, okay, moment to be free. I'm with you now. So last two lines, we have blackbird fly, blackbird fly into the light with a dark black night. Uh, this is, I don't know, maybe what you'd call the B section. Uh, we'd have this note right here, which is a C. And then if you wanted to, you could play what's listed here, which is A, G. That's kind of what they sing, black bird fly. Or if you wanted to just stick with the G, I think that's what I played at the beginning, black bird fly. But if you want to add in a little decoration there to that G, you could add in that A, black bird fly. And the same exact thing again, black bird fly. This next section, this is the weird section. <laughs> We're gonna go up to a G, which is above the F that's on your screen there. Uh, so Kendra, actually, would you uh, throw it to the uh, far tablet view so they can see all of these notes. I'm gonna hang on to the G right here. So this is the highest one of the song. We're gonna play that one, that one, that one. So that's a G, an F, and a D. So in to the, and then go back to the F, light of the dark. So it's those three. So these three, these three, into the light of the dark and then we have black if you want to this is kind of the same thing you could decorate the last note the last note's a g just like we start on a g we're going to end on a g that one right there but if you want to decorate that you could scoop up to it from this note below it so black night black night or just black night into the light of the dark black night let's go back up and just make sure uh once again we've got the same exact notes you're playing the same thing as i am uh, even if you can't play the whole thing just see if you can uh predict what i'm about to play like imagine that you're playing it and see how many of these uh notes you already know what i'm gonna do and it's not a surprise and which ones uh you don't quite remember so we start on a g it's gonna also end on a g blackbird singing in the dead of night we're gonna go back, to, back down to this a take these broken wings and learn to fly three notes all your life up three back down you were only waiting for this moment to arise the exact same thing again with different words blackbird singing in the dead of night down to the a take these sunken eyes and learn to see three notes all your life then three notes up and then back down you were only waiting for this moment to be free can you go up to a, a c and come back down to this g black maybe with a decoration bird fly do it again black bird fly then the funky part into the light of the dark black and on the g that's all the notes. You did it. You made it all the way through the whole thing. If you just work on that and say the words out loud as you're playing, you're going to be absolutely fine. But I think that's it for the beginner's lesson, which means it's time for the feature of the day. That's right. And today's website of the day is jazztranscriptions.co.uk. Yeah, jazztranscriptions.co.uk. Um, and they're going to have all kinds of stuff. Now, honestly, if you would actually do it, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to say this. This is a terrible business model. But if you just got a whole bunch of jazz transcriptions and you canceled your Learn Piano Live subscription and you went and just tran like played all these transcriptions, you'd probably end up a better jazz piano player than showing up to the live streams. Uh, but uh, th these aren't nearly as uh, uh, entertaining, funny, 
handsome, Jamin. strong <laughs> as, as what you get here. So, uh, no, but honestly, like tr- uh, playing transcribed solos from the jazz greats, like that's where it's at. That's if you want to get good at jazz, like play the notes that the jazz players played and uh, really digest it and w- let it become a part of you. And that stuff will leak out. Um, it might not make any sense, though. I took actually this is uh, Herbie Hancock's one of, one of his transcriptions, which um, I, I mean, I can't play like the, the, the guy. He's he's. he's better than me in almost every way at piano. Uh, so that he, he's great. But I, I took his master class on masterclass.com uh, or whatever, um, and it was I, I couldn't understand a thing. He was, not because he was beyond me. He just wasn't making any sense. Um, so he's a great player, and as far as I can tell, maybe, um, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I couldn't get much out of his, his mouth, but his hands helped me very, very much. So um, anyway, go do the transcriptions. It's supposed to be the moral of the story. I was probably supposed to stop talking at least two minutes ago. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into the intermediate version of this lesson. We'll throw in some chords and some root movements and stuff like that. All right, here we go. So sadly, the lesson preview has come to an end, and it's time to say goodbye to everyone watching the free streams. Of course, paying subscribers at LearnPianoLive.com can continue watching this lesson and several hundred others like it in the archives. So come on over and check us out. And if you like what you saw, at least like and subscribe, and then tell your friends to head on over to LearnPianoLive.com to start enjoying.